Hello students, welcome to the online classes. Myself, Mr. Robinson Ambrose, and I will be taking your mathematics. Now you know that the country is under complete lockdown. So stay at home and stay safe. The government has given various precautionary gui guidelines and I hope you're following it. Let me name a few. Wash your hands regularly, use a face mask, use sanitizer, and maintain social distancing. Apart from these, I want to add a few more. When you are at home, be helpful towards your parents, help them in their work sometimes, and please take care of your younger brothers or sisters if you have. Now, before coming to the topic, let me tell you something. Now, since childhood, when you, were, when you were a small child, you were introduced with alphabets and you started counting numbers. In due course of time, you understood how to use numbers in different concepts. Numbers can be used for counting, for measurement, and also for comparison. So numbers play a very important role in our life. So today, we are going to start with knowing numbers. Under knowing numbers, there are various topics that we'll discuss. Let us write them down, and then we'll discuss in details. So there are seven topics we'll discuss. First is place value and face value of numbers. The second is formation of numbers, how to form numbers. The third is comparison of numbers. Fourth, we have large numbers. We'll learn about the larger units of numbers. Number five, we have numbers in use. There we will use how to measure numbers with their units and how to compare them. Sixth, we will learn Indian and international system. And seventh, we'll learn how to estimate numbers. So first of all, let us come to place value and face value. Now let me explain you. Place value of a number, of a digit exactly, in a number is the position it, it acquires in a number. So place value of a digit is the position it acquires in a number. For example, if we have 436, let us have, this is ones, tens, and this is hundreds. So six is in the ones place, three is in the tens place, and four is in the hundreds place. So here, the place value of four, since it is below 100, it is 400. The place value of 3 
is below 10, so it is 30. And the place value of 0 is 6. So you can understand that place value of a digit is the position it acquires in that number or in that place value chart. So for example, me. Now, I am Mr. Robinson Ambrose. I am a teacher. So I acquired the position of a teacher by coming into that position. So similarly, numbers change their position and they acquire their value. So this is what we learn in place value of numbers. Second, we have face value. The face value of a number remains the same irrespective of its position or the place it acquires. So face value never changes. Place value can change from position to position, but face value never changes. For example, 4, the face value, the place value of 4 is 400, but its face value will be 4. Similarly, the place value of 3 is 30, but the face value will be 3. So face value does not change. And one more thing you must remember, that place value and face value of 0 remains the same, irrespective of the position it acquires. I repeat, face value and place value of 0 will remain the same. Let us come to the next topic, and that is about formation of numbers. Let us come to the second part, formation of numbers. Let us take a few digits. For example, I have taken four digits, four, two, three, and one. Now, let us form the largest number with these four digits. If you form the largest number, it will be 4,321. So what you do is, you take the largest number, you write it first, then the second largest comes first, third largest, and the last number, the smallest number, comes at the end. So this is how you form number if you want to form the largest number with these four digits. Suppose you want to form the smallest number with these, with these four digits. Now what we'll do is, we'll write it as, so the largest number we get is 4,321, and the smallest we get as 1,234. So the largest number and the smallest number can be formed with these, with the help of these four digits. Now, for example, if we have zero in between, for example, if we take four, in that case, the largest digit will be 4,310, and the smallest digit, if you want to write, do not start with zero. Because if we start with zero, what happens? The digits or the number get reduced to three digit term. So that is why we have to start with one, then write zero. So the smallest number will be 1034. So this is how we will form numbers. Now let us understand how to compare the third topic, how to compare numbers how to do comparison of numbers. Suppose we have this 4,321, and we have 1,234. Always see the first digit first. Is that clear? We have the first digit here is 4, and here it is 1. So therefore, we can say that this number is larger than this number. So we can write it as, So we write it as 4,321 is greater than 1,234. So this is how we compare these two numbers. Similarly, you can see here, 4,310 is greater than 1,034. Suppose if we have the first digit, or if the thousand digit would have been same, then would have gone to the next digit. 
and then we would have compared so always compare from the largest digit to the smaller digit for comparing numbers let us come to the third part or the sorry the fourth part that is large numbers in large numbers let us discuss about crores and lakhs in crores column we can have 10 crore and crore in lakhs column we can have 10 lakhs and lakhs in thousands column we can have 10000 and 1000 and in ones column we can have 100s tens and units i repeat in crores column we can have 10 crores and crores in lakhs column we can have 10 lakhs and lakhs in thousands column we can have 10000 and 1000 and in ones column we have 100 tens and units let us write out write down a number now if you want to write it if you want to write it together here we have number 14 crore 34 lakh 67897 this is the number we have suppose we want to write it write them down just check how how i am writing first what i have done is with the ones place there are three digits after that i placed a comma then in thousands place there are two digits after that i placed a comma lakhs place again i have two digits again after that i placed a comma and in crores place i have two digits here suppose you want to expand and write this number how will you write we can write this as So what I have done, I have expanded 14 crore, 34 lakhs, 67 thousand, 897 as 10 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 crore, 34 So this is how you can write in expanded form. So therefore we have learned about the large numbers which can be written in crores and lakhs and we have also learned how to expand that given number. Now let us come to the fifth part that is numbers in use. Suppose you want to travel